What will the mobility of the future look like? How will we cope with growing traffic in the world's mega cities? How can we make it more fluid? Does the data highway offer a way out of the constant traffic congestion? Audi's researching solutions to the challenges awaiting tomorrow's urban societies. One of their projects is the Car2X technology, Audi Traffic Light Information Online. The traffic light assistant tells the driver when the next traffic light will change. The system works by recommending a speed the driver should select, a reasonable speed of course, in order to make it through the next light while it's still green. Or we display the remaining waiting time until the end of the red light phase, when it's unavoidable that the driver will have to wait. Michael Sveck shows us how the solution's already working in Berlin. The traffic light up ahead of us is red and the system is recommending we proceed towards the light at 50 km per hour. And now the light's changing and you see we can make it through the intersection while driving in a relaxed manner. This saves fuel, reduces CO2 emissions and particulates and is much easier on the nerves. The driver's informed of how much time remains in the red light phase. The start-stop function is also integrated into the assistance system. When we reach a traffic light and it's going to turn green within the next 10 seconds, the engine is allowed to keep running, even when making a left turn and waiting for an opening in oncoming traffic, because in this case the stop function is suppressed in order to quickly make it through the intersection. At a red light, the system restarts the engine five seconds before the traffic light turns green, so there are no annoying hesitations. The car communicates with the traffic light, and the light communicates with the vehicle. Many traffic lights in cities today are already connected to a central traffic computer whose data is called up by our content provider and supplies it to the Audi back-end system. Traffic light information online would already be mature enough for series production if there were more cities taking part. Berlin is currently our biggest test environment. In 2010 we connected 50 traffic lights in Ingolstadt, 60 lights in Verona in 2012 and 700 of 2,500 traffic lights in Berlin are currently networked. But Traffic Light Information Online offers benefits not only to drivers, it's also good for the cities, which could use the data to improve their traffic management. Cars as transmitters and receivers of information, this networking of automobiles and cities is at the heart of research for the intelligent mobility of tomorrow.